Don't ride here. Ride here. Explore new horizons with Moto Freight. Proud sponsors of Under the Visor. My name is Richard Field. Uh, I ride a DR650, uh, 2014, uh, imported from the USA. Um, I've been, uh, been riding for 20 odd years. Uh, last trip was to Azerbaijan, uh, broke down in Tbilisi. I was going further, but I got stuck, so, so came back, but got caught up in the civil war there uh, between the Kurds and the, the Turkish military. Um, I'm 66. Uh, what else do you want to know? Well, uh, if I de describe myself on a level of naivety, not to 10, I reckon I come out at about nine. I didn't actually mean to get caught up in, in the war, but kind of realized afterwards that I didn't actually do much to prevent it either. So in a way, I kind of walked into it slow sleepwalking. Um, it wasn't particularly terrifying. Uh, I remember there was one evening when I sat out on a veranda in front of the hotel with, with a group of Kurdish guys, about nine of them, drinking, ten, uh, drinking tea and there was kind of Kalashnikov fire going off in the town, there was uh, Molotov cocktails being thrown, there was uh, all the women upstairs were bashing their saucepan lids, there was fighting, there were kids roving around with stones to throw at the police. It was, it was crazy and these guys were just sitting there calmly in the circle with me among them and it was like they were just holding me, you know, kind of securely there and it was just like it was a dream. It was it wasn't really that scary at all. Okay, uh, when I was little, I had um, I had a fear of falling, a really serious problem when I was younger. And by the time I got into teenage years, it kind of I'd kind of worked through most of it, but it was still around in my early twenties. And I realised that uh, it was an issue, and so I decided I needed to do something about it. And I did something about it by big, buying the biggest fuck off motorcycle I could find. And it didn't actually cure me. Uh, so I still, to this day, uh, I'm still a little bit nervous in the wet, but you know, I'm okay now. Uh, but he got me into motorcycling and uh, just got the bug then and uh, it's been with me ever since. It, everyone says the same, it's the freedom of the motorcycle. You, you go everywhere, you're in the landscape, you're part of what you're experiencing. You know, there's, you know, if you're in a car, it's like watching TV. You've got the windscreen, you're looking at it at a distance. And motorcycling, I mean, I like walking as well. I do a lot of walking. But motorcycling gives you distance and it actually puts you into the, into the scene, which is like, like the best of all possible words. And it's just like uh, life on two wheels. I, I don't know anything better. Well, I've actually, just at the show here, I've been kind of putting together something. I was planning to go away to Siberia next year, to ride across into Siberia. But uh, a few weeks ago, I saw some photographs of the Ethiopian highlands, and you could hire mules to go up into the high highlands. You know, they just look absolutely fantastic. So I've been trying to figure a way of getting into... Um, I didn't want to go through Egypt because of the, the, the cost of the, the carne. Um, but uh, I was trying to figure ways of getting, I understand the Saudis now have visas, you can get through Saudi, so I was trying to figure a way to get through there. Um, but it was all getting a bit complicated and I was talking to somebody today and they say, well, look, you know, the new cars people who've got the visas, you, I don't know whether this is true yet, I haven't figured it out, I haven't checked it out. Um, they say you can actually now ensure to get the, the, the visa, as you, the, the car now as you used to. So I was thinking, well, hell, why not kind of go through Egypt if that's the case, if I can afford it? Because I'm a pensioner now, I'm, I'm just on a pension. Um, and then go through Ethiopia and then just go down the east coast of Africa, down to South Africa, just go all the way. So that's kind of just got my juices going. It's like, uh, you know, it's all kind of bubbling up inside at the moment. And I'm thinking, yeah, why the hell not? You know, so that, that's kind of what's in my mind. The, I, haven't, I haven't done a blog for a while, but the, I, did, uh, I did do a Facebook blog uh, for the, uh, the journey to uh, Azerbaijan in 15. Um, uh, and that's, that's on a Facebook page. Uh, it's, on, it's a separate page, my ordinary page. I just, just put it, I put it on a separate page to keep it 
you know, sort of so that it doesn't get lost in all the kind of newer stuff. So that, that's available. That's, uh, that's under my name, Richard Field. Overland Journey, I think it's called. Yeah, on Facebook. Don't ride here. Ride here. Explore new horizons with Moto Freight. Proud sponsors of Under the Visor.